Okay. Many of you have seen Dusty on our videos. Her bottom beak sits naturally over her top beak, which is not natural for a parrot. So one of the things that we have to do is regular maintenance. This is something that should be shown how to be done by a vet. Judy is trained up, so she's able to get our birds done here. And she used to also have what's called a scissor beak, where the beak sits twisted. And she was the first bird in Canada to have a birdie brace, head brace system. It looked a lot like head here that humans wear to straighten the beak out, but it didn't fix the uh, overbite problem. So we still have to help her maintain good beak form. That's all right, well, we'll work around that then. So we're not hurting Dusty at all. Her beak is made of keratin. That's the same material that our nails are made out of. You do need to be careful with the beak, however, because they do have a blood source, especially in the upper mandible. So this isn't something, again, that you should be doing unless you've been trained to do. We've had uh, videos from Dusty's former vet, which is Dr. Rick at Lynx Road Hospital in Toronto. <laughs> Dusty, Dusty is being being a little <laughs> snot, refusing to hit. Oh, good girl. There, thank you, sweetheart. We okay. do this every few weeks, so she knows what's going on. She's got her own tricks to. Yeah, I'm not touching her at all. If we don't do this, we have a few birds that this is the case with. If we don't um, help them shape their beaks, the beaks will continue to grow because they grow faster than what they can shape them themselves. And then that gets them out of a line and it makes it harder for them to crack nuts because the beak is actually a wonder of mechanical engineering. Uh, the bird itself is a wonder of mechanical engineering. And the beak is no different. It needs a certain shape for them to be able to exert the pressure, the required pressure, to crack nuts. And as that shape, as those angles, Hi, sweetheart, I'm such a good girl. Become less and less precise. The leverage points change, and the pounds per square inch go down. And if you leave it way too long, you'll see uh, neglect cases where the bird's actually not able to open their beak properly to eat anymore, and they have to eat out of the side of their mouth. And if it's the top beak that's growing too long, it can actually start growing into the uh, skin under the bottom beak, and it can be quite devastating. So this looks quite traumatic, but it really is better for Dusty in the long run. It's, uh, it feels, from, I would imagine, like what we feel like when we go to the dentist. <laughs> and, you know, if something is buzzing in our head, it's uh, it's not pleasant, but it's certainly uh, manageable. Now, that all changes, again, if you hit uh, a nerve or you hit the blood source. So that's why you really do need to be trained. Do not say, oh, I know how to do this. If you're taking an unnecessary risk with your parent without doing this without being trained. And just uh, cleaning up the beak. Just like our nails, sometimes we get ridges and you know how we buff them out. That's what we're doing here. Oh, they, uh, every now and then, if a bird, and there, see how strong that beak is. <laughs> they'll do what we call a death grip. Thank you so much. Where they'll be like us clenching our jaw and daring the dentist to get in there. If you were here, you'd get a lovely burning hair smell. And that's because <laughs> nails and beaks and hair are all made out of the same source, so it's just the friction of the uh, Dremel on the beak. Yeah. So you'll see Dusty's very forgiving of the world. You look divine. My, 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 you look divine. Yeah. So you'll see now that before. she's uh, able to close her face much better. Her lower mandible was being pushed out. Um, so we can do, yeah, 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 yeah. 
but like anything uh, with husbandry, you want to be able to do a little bit and then work up so that it's not uh, as traumatic an experience. It's not a pleasant experience for us to get our teeth cleaned or our, you know, our teeth checked, but it, you know, we, we go, th we can manage it. These guys can manage this as well, yeah. But we want to start them off in, in slow increments. Hey, baby! <laughs> Yay! Time for another month! Another month! Yeah!